In this video you will learn how to perform a linear analysis and superpose results based on the combinations from the last video. Let's start with the linear analysis. Double click on the task Linear Analysis to open it. All available loads are listed in the Load Cases tab. You can manually select which load cases to calculate. The preset is to calculate all of them. To calculate a specific load case, use the option manually and tick the selected required load cases. Let's keep load cases 2 and 3 activated. The Groups tab lets you select which part of the structure is active for the particular calculation. You can only apply the selected load cases to groups 0, 1 and 2. Start the calculation by clicking the OK button. Let's switch from the calculation to the viewer. Remember to update your system in the viewer. To visualize the deformed structure loaded by load cases 2 and 3, activate the toggle Show Deformed Structure. If the Load Case and Results window is not visible, you can open it here. You can review the deflections caused by the load cases and select the activated groups. To show the entire system, click on the System entry in the Load Case list. Suppose you want to apply different load cases to specific groups of your structure. In that case, you must create multiple linear analysis tasks. Let's create a new linear analysis task to apply all load cases to all structure groups. Add a second linear analysis task from the task list. Open it. Double check that all load cases and groups have been selected. Now calculate the task. Go back to Viewer and check the results after updating. All four load cases are applied to the entire system. Remember that the previous results of load cases 2 and 3 have been overwritten by calculating this task as they had the same load case number as the previous one. Let's come back to the linear analysis task. In the control parameters tab, you can adjust specific calculatory settings for the linear analysis. These settings generally require some background knowledge, so please inform yourself before adjusting them. You can find additional information about the linear analysis in Help, User Manuals, All Manuals. Select the ASE User Manual and make sure you pick the right language. ASE is the Sophistic module used in the Linear Analysis tab. You can find plenty of advanced information in this manual, for example about the T-Beam philosophy. Let's head back to the Sophistic Structural Desktop and learn more about how to adjust the automatically created report and graphics. Open the Linear Analysis tab and navigate to the Text Output tab. You can control the extent of the report for every chapter in this drop-down menu. Select the setting which matches your report requirements from No Output to Extensive Output. Within the Graphical Output, you can choose from a predefined list of standard graphics. The User-Defined view lets you manually align the structure with the graphical output. If the Process Immediately checkbox is activated, the task starts to calculate once you confirm it with OK. If it's unchecked, it will simply save your settings for this task. The Calculation window opens. Here you can find the program modules ASE and WING. They are used in the Linear Analysis standard task. The report and its graphics are generated in the calculation process. Click on Reports to review the generated output of a specific task. You will learn more about reports in a later video. You can find the created text output in the Results tab of the Contents sidebar. The Graphic tab contains only the graphics from the report 
and aligns them for easier checking. Once the single load cases are calculated, results are available and it is time to superpose them for design. Let's open the superpositioning task with a double click. The program displays all combination rules on the left side and shows the results which will be created for them. You define the numbering in your combination task. You can find the combination rule number over here. The superpositioning task creates results for the combination rule. You can add and modify results for every combination rule. Choose the element type, the result type and then the kind of result. Always remember to apply your changes. Run the superpositioning task by clicking OK. The task gets processed and the design results are generated. With that we are at the end of this video.